Thank you, everybody, for making it out this evening. We're really excited to see so many familiar faces and several new ones as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed your dinner. Um, and I'm going to find my spot on the script here because I was just winging it now that I realized that. Okay, so good evening. Uh, before we start, I would like to take a moment and ask that all active duty veterans and first responders in the room to please stand so we can recognize and thank you for your service. And also, please remain standing. I can't really see up here. There we go. All right. All right. I ask that you please remain standing, and I'll ask that the remaining of the room please join them in standing, and we are going to have our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that song spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Well, wasn't that a beautiful performance? And we really thank School of the Osage. Thank you for providing this to us this evening. All right, it's time to begin the business portion of our evening, but before we dive into that, I'd like to take a moment to thank the individuals and businesses that are providing their services to us this evening. I'd like to start with the Lake Area Chamber team. Ladies, will you please stand? These ladies are fantastic and do truly an amazing job, and there's no way I'd be able to do it without them, so I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Next, I'd like to thank Brad Glidewell. He is our tonight's event photographer, and he does a fabulous job capturing our memorable moments throughout the event. Also, a big thank you to the Regalia Hotel and Conference Center for providing tonight's venue and the beautiful uh, decor and the food and the amazing staff. So let's give them a round of applause as well. And then a special thank you to Powers Entertainment and Nelson Audio for providing tonight's sound, lighting, and visuals. It's because of them that you all have the luxury of hearing me loud and clear. And last but not certainly least, how many of you took advantage of the photo booth in the back? Well, if you didn't, I hope you will take a chance at the end of this evening to hop on back there and get your photo captured. Uh, you will have one to take away, and then we'll be sharing that album later this week or early next week um, on our Facebook page. And we owe that thank you to Red Carpet Trophy for providing that service this evening, that entertainment piece. At this time, I'd like to recognize our dignitaries joining us this evening. As I introduce you, please stand to be recognized. Representing the City of Lake Ozark, we have Mayor Murawski, Police Chief Gary Launderville, City Administrator Dave Van Dee, Assistant City Administrator Harrison Fry, and Accounting Clerk Nicholas Moore. And they're all in the back. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us this evening. Representing the Camdenton Area Chamber of Commerce, we have President Dave Kemker, along with other, several other board members in attendance this evening. Thank you. <laughs> Representing the Convention and Visitors Bureau, we have David Shipp and Michelle Ayl. I knew I was going to say that wrong. I meant to ask you before tonight how to pronounce that. Michelle, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll have to get that from you. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us, though. We appreciate that. And also, we have Chief Mark Amzinger from the Lake Ozark Fire Protection District joining us this evening. Thank you, Chief. 
So thank you all for being here tonight. I know this year most especially may have been a difficult or tougher decision than any other year to attend, so I really do appreciate your support by being here this evening. The success of our chamber is built around partnerships, and I'd like to take time to recognize the numerous outstanding partners who have committed their sources to this event as sponsors. These members consistently go above and beyond to support not only our chamber, but also our community, so we thank you. As your company is recognized, we ask that your associates please stand and please hold your applause until I reach the end of each sponsored category. So I will start with our platinum sponsors joining us this evening. Central Bank, Lake of the Ozarks, LO Profile Magazine, MSW Interactive Designs, Oak Star Bank, Polylift, and Precision Auto and Tire Services. A big round of applause for our platinum sponsors. Next, we'd like to recognize our gold sponsors. I can't thank you enough for your dedication and investment to the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce, and thank you for joining us this evening. Our gold sponsors are Lake Regional Health Systems, Lake TV, Somerset Boat Lifts, and Walls HVAC Service. Isn't that another great group of individuals? Thank you all so much. We're pleased to have several amazing silver sponsors as well this evening, and they are Anytime Fitness, Gibney Electric, Golden Rule Insurance Agency, The Prop Specialist, AKA Cool Breeze Marine, Hayes Construction, and Jennings Insurance Group. Another great group, thank you all. And a special thank you to our bronze sponsors, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Great American Title Company, Memory Lane Events, Movement Mortgage, Red Carpet Trophy Shop, and Remax Lake of the Ozarks. We truly appreciate all of your support. So listed in your program, and I hope you all have had a chance to browse through that, you'll find our benefactor sponsors highlighted. These are members that choose to pay above and beyond the set amount of dues to further support our chamber and our efforts. Their contributions are greatly appreciated, and I hope you take some time to review them in the program and help us show our appreciation by supporting them in their business. As a 501c6 organization, I can assure you, without the paycheck program assistance available to us, those additional donations were certainly handy this year. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our board of directors. You, our members, voted for this great group of servant leaders to represent you on the Lake Erie Chamber Board of Directors. This is a huge honor and responsibility, and we appreciate their time and commitment to this role. These individuals devote numerous volunteer hours to our community through their work at the Lake Erie Chamber of Commerce. I will begin with our newly elected board members first. Stephanie Daner with Lake Regional Health System. Tony Otto with Auto Construction. There we go. The remaining board members continuing to serve and joining us this evening are Burt Westbrook, AB Pest and Installation. Greg Sullins, Benny Media. Luke Hagedorn, Dog Days Bar and Grill. Mike Smith, Precision Auto and Tire Service. Our 2020 through 2021 officers that are in attendance this evening are Past President Sandy Waggett, MSW Interactive Designs. <laughs> Treasurer Brian Gagno, Central Bank of Lake of the Ozarks. And if you help me congratulate your newly reelected Lake Area Chamber of Commerce President, Miss Angie Schuster from Somerset Resort and Somerset Boat Lifts. <laughs> Those board members not able to attend this evening are Secretary Nick Brenizer, Golden Rule Insurance. Yeah, we'll give them an applause. We will. They may watch the video afterwards. <laughs> Vice President Cole Bradbury with Anytime Fitness. Morgan Cranshaw, Arrowhead Senior Living Community. Corey Roberts, Baxter's Lakeside Grill. Lisa Larson, Showcase Publishing. And Dr. Laura Nelson, School of the Osage. 
I can't even begin to share how important these individuals are to the success of our organization, so I thank each and every one of you. I would like to take a moment to recognize our outgoing board members, Matt Shrimp and Willie Maxwell. And I believe both of them were not able to attend this evening, so we're just gonna act as if they're here, and I'm gonna read what I wrote, and uh, then I'll make sure we get them their plaques later. So Matt Shrimp and Willie Maxwell have contributed eight years combined to the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce, serving as board members. Matt Shrimp chaired the Lake Area Chamber Economic Development Committee for the last four years, along with participating as an executive committee board member for the last year, while also volunteering numerous hours to the Magic Dragon Street Meet Nationals. Willie Maxwell has served on the Magic Dragon Street Meet Car Show Committee for the last four years, as well as provided countless hours to the Budget and Finance Committee, the Area Beautification Committee, the Nominating Committee, and most recently, serving a year on the Executive Committee. Gentlemen, we thank you for your time, dedication, and service, not only to the Lake Area Chamber, but to our entire community. It is tradition that we award a board member of the year. This recipient is chosen by the chamber staff and recognizes a board member who has demonstrated outstanding support to our chamber team and our efforts, including attendance at board meetings, committee meetings, ribbon cuttings, socials, working on chamber initiatives, and volunteering at the, our numerous events. So this year, just like many, the Lake Erie Chamber had to do some major pivoting. <clears throat> Damn COVID. But I'll dive deeper into that later in tonight's program. So we, we have decided that this year's board member of the year couldn't go to just one member. Putting all canceled events and activities aside, there was one we were fortunate to have been able to move forward with. Our annual Magic Dragon Street Meet Nationals. These two board members had to undertake a bit more than the usual event preparation this year, dealing with so many unknowns. They didn't even pause for a moment when having to move an entire three-day event from spring to fall and didn't miss, miss a beat in doing such a move. I am honored to ask that Burt Westbrook and Mike Smith please join me on the stage here. I'm not going to lie, there was no way in hell I could have pulled that off without those two guys. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. Um, hmm. Our young professionals at the lake had a great start to 2020, just like many other events, hosting another very successful dodgeball tournament in February. With that fundraiser event, we were able to make a contribution in the amount of $2,000 to Wonderland Camp. Unfortunately, many of their remaining events and activities were paused for the year, but tried to continue to connect virtually. We have an amazing leadership to thank for the success of the group the last two years. I'd like to ask that our outgoing officers please join me on stage. So President Sierra Grine and Secretary Karen Horseman. Our YPL Vice President Amanda DeWitt is not here this evening. We want to congratulate her and her husband Jeff on their newest arrival, Miss June Marion, who arrived early on October 16th. Sorry, I mean to scare you there. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So thank you ladies for your continued support of the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce and to the young professionals at the lake. You guys did an exceptional job and we appreciate all of your time and efforts. At this time, I'd also like to take the opportunity to introduce to you all our incoming officers for the young professionals at the lake. And they are secretary for a second term, Karen Horseman with MSW Interactive Designs. Vice President Sam Beck, 
Edward Jones Investments, and President Nicholas Moore with the City of Lake Ozark. The mission of the Young Professionals at the Lake is to foster community engagement, exchange ideas, and support the Lake Erie Chamber of Commerce mission and activities. Our incoming and outgoing leadership, along with other advisory members, are working hard to develop the 2021 vision for our YPL group. We encourage you to attend the December 2nd YPL membership meeting to hear the rollout of this plan. If you're interested in learning more about this fabulous group, please don't hesitate to contact any of the Lake Erie Chamber team or any of the officers that you saw mentioned this evening. At this time, I would like to welcome our Chamber President, Angie Schuster, to the stage. Okay, you guys, this is entirely too serious. You're all being way too stoic out there. And I can't do this with all you. So, I was told to dress like a star tonight. This is my outfit, courtesy of Instant Signs and Banners. They're awesome. <laughs> Just wanted to throw that out there and have a little fun. We usually get to have a lot of fun with our themes. So, good evening to everyone. You know, run for chamber president, they said. It'll be fun. And then there was 2020. Some might say this whole year of uncertainty and ever-changing targets has been disastrous. However, I will tell you that the challenges we have faced have brought us full circle creating new opportunities, making us reevaluate what's important, and challenging us to push forward. Just as the rivers that formed our beautiful lake so many years ago, during 2020, our Lake Erie Chamber has pivoted in new directions and forged new paths to continue our mission, the mission to serve our members, our community. So many people view their membership with the Chamber as only an advertising opportunity. However, it's much more than that. It's an opportunity to connect with other members, no matter the size of your business. Each of them has a stake in our community, and each of them needs support in one way or the other. Your chamber membership is an opportunity to gain inspiration from other members, and in turn, to inspire them too. The Lake Area Chamber staff, in cooperation with other area organizations, quickly found ways to connect with our members, sharing ideas, links to ever-changing regulations and recommendations, setting up networking and supporting opportunities, and educating about potential solutions. Hopefully this brings a bit of comfort during all this uncertainty. Last year during our dinner, I stated the following, and I believe it's so important that I'm repeating myself. Our board, board works diligently to represent the interests of our members and support our exceptional chamber staff. It's with the utmost excitement that I get to tell you about our chamber team. Casey, Danielle, and Paige, along with some board members and some other member assistants, have absolutely rode the waves and superbly transitioned the Lake Area Chamber through some uncharted waters, making continual strides to keep the Chamber's finances a priority without sacrificing the mission to serve our members has been challenging, but the Chamber staff have been stars this year. I sincerely appreciate their efforts. Canceling some events, postponing others, creating new virtual ones, and even having their families provide entertainment and assistance as needed. Budgeting for a normal year has its challenges, but adding in an unexpected pandemic? Wow. My first thought was everything's about to change drastically, and everything did in a good way. Our membership has been maintained. Our benefactors have stepped up. Our events remained remarkably strong, at least the ones we were able to host, and our future looks bright. Please join me in celebrating Casey, Danielle, and Paige with a round of applause for their outstanding efforts this year. Overall, our lake area has had an outstanding season. With record-breaking tourism numbers, people relocating to live here, and the added benefit of some great weather. We're looking forward to the continuation of our success in 2021. And now we're going to work on our membership anniversary recognition. I hope you had the opportunity to watch the anniversary slide show during the dinner portion of the evening, recognizing our members celebrating 5, 10, 15, 20, and 30 years. 
as Lake Erie Chamber members. They're also listed in this evening's program. It's time to recognize this evening's chamber uh, 25th year anniversaries. I'd like to ask for B&B &B Heating and Cooling to join me on the stage to accept your anniversary plaque. The following members celebrate their 25th anniversary with our organization, but were not able to attend this evening. We'd like to still recognize them for their continued support with the Lake Area Chamber. If you'll please hold your applause until the end. Um, Cross Creek RV Park, Dugan Paints, Inc. Decorating Center, Janine's Flowers, JB Hooks, RP Lumber, and School of the Osage. A big round of applause for our member anniversaries. All right, before we get into the awards portion of this evening, we wanted to take this opportunity to, opportunity to showcase everything the Chamber has been doing to serve our members. As we make our way through tonight's program, we may discuss programs or events of interest that interest you. Whether you would like more information on that particular item or would like to personally get involved, we included a member response form at everyone's seat. Please be sure to complete the form and leave it at your seat as we'll collect them after the event this evening. And if you would like to complete it later, please do so and return it to the chamber as soon as possible. We'll get you working. Um, now I'm going to warn you, you may hear a few familiar terms this evening, pre-COVID, early COVID, due to the concerns, pandemic, and so forth. I'm just going to throw this idea out there. It would make a hell of a drinking game. But use that information as you will. I'd like to share a new video piece that was introduced earlier this year. Hi, I'm Casey Cloak, Executive Director for the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm Danielle Barrett, the Membership Director. I'm Laura Nagel, Office Manager. I'm Paige Jones, Administrative Assistant. And we'd like you to learn about the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Our organization is committed to improve the economic and community prosperity in the Lake of the Ozarks area by providing services to and advocating for businesses. What that means to you is we offer opportunities to help you network, connect and get noticed. We encourage you to engage with our members. The Chamber offers a variety of options to do so, including monthly networking socials, our weekly member connect Zoom meetings, ribbon cuttings, various Chamber events, and even volunteer opportunities to give back all the while building lasting relationships. The Chamber has a variety of outlets to help your business get noticed. As a member, your business is included in our print and online business directory, and it doesn't stop there. Other promotional opportunities include sponsorships with our Chamber's various events, or even having your business showcased in Missouri's only virtual trade show, lakehomeshow.com, created by our very own Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Our chamber is fortunate enough to be housed at the historic Wilmore Lodge and Visitors Center, where we have the opportunity to refer our members to the 16,000 plus visitors that walk through our doors each year. This is an exclusive opportunity to our members. We offer many avenues to grow professionally. Our young professionals at the lake host monthly lunch and learns Pertinent issues impactful to the lake are educated at quarterly eggs and issue breakfast meetings. And to dive deeper into specific business needs, our members have an opportunity to participate at our Lake Business Academy led by local experts covering a variety of topics. Now is the time to become a member of the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. I encourage you to reach out to me today so I can learn more about your business and how we can better assist you. Contact me at 573-964-1008. All right, a special thanks to Lake TV for helping our team put that, or put our vision into a real visual. So thank you, gentlemen, we appreciate it. We are honored to say that even during this questionable year, I'm just going to say, uh, the year continues uh, to grow. Since our 2019 fall dinner, we've had 70 new members join the Lake Area Chamber, which now brings our total membership to 561 members. 
pretty good. <clears throat> we welcomed many of those new members, along with several milestone occasion members with ribbon cuttings, and can proudly say even during this difficult year, we were still able to host 16 of those events, with many others coming in the near future. Networking is one of the number one reasons businesses join the chamber. One key opportunity we provide to members looking to connect with other businesses is our monthly networking social. Typically, we would have hosted 10 of those in the past 12 months. However, due to the pandemic, all right, I won't do that all night, but there's gonna be several. Due to the pandemic, several months were canceled. In lieu of the socials though, we were very excited to roll out a brand new program in late March, our Member Connect series. Our Member Connect series allowed the networking opportunity to continue virtually. In our Member Connect early COVID, we shared resources available to businesses. We discussed challenges, invited community advocates to the meeting to share updates pertinent to our region. The series continues each and every week and will continue from here on out. We invite you to join us at the next Member Connect. Catch us live on Zoom Wednesdays at 9 a.m. And I do my very best to have the meeting done by 10, just saying. The Lake Area Chamber strives to provide ample opportunities for business exposure. Our website, lakeareachamber.com, is recognized as a great resource to not only view upcoming events, but also allows you access to our membership online directory. I encourage you all tonight to check out the website, check out your business listing on our website to ensure it includes the most up-to-date information pertaining to your business. We continuously have traffic going to our site. Let's make sure it's up-to-date. Your membership also entitles your business a free listing in the Joint Chamber Printed Directory that is distributed at multiple venues throughout the Lake Area, as well as at both the Overland Park and St. Charles Boat Show. Our Facebook page has grown by more than 15% since last year, now reaching over 9,500 fans. This is the perfect platform for our weekly business spotlights and event promotions. If you haven't taken advantage of the free business spotlight opportunity, be sure to mark your inquiry form or reach out to Danielle Borat, our membership director, and she'll get your space reserved. Wilmer Lodge continues to draw the crowds and is quite popular with both visitors and local residents alike. We're proud to continue to hold the title as the number one attraction in the city of Lake Ozark by TripAdvisor for the fifth year in a row. We do our best to track the traffic of, of the visitor center and it has become the trend that each year we're, we exceed the previous year visitor counts. This year, we didn't reach our record totals, obviously. Although the facility was closed for almost three months and we missed out on the spring break visitors, I am pleased to share that we still had over 3,000 visitors come through our doors. Please know, even during the closed months, we were able to continue providing referrals to every visitor that made their way to us by providing materials and setting up an outdoor kiosk or display at the doors. This opportunity is a free benefit that we offer to our membership, which is our visitor center. If you don't currently have your business brochure or marketing materials in our visitor center, we encourage you to drop some off to allow your business to get exposure from those, on an average year, 16,000. We'll get there next year. When it comes to providing employees with cost-saving health care coverage, small businesses are at a big disadvantage compared to the larger counterparts. Because of their smaller size, their claims risk pool is spread out across much smaller employee population. That can result in higher, less stable insurance rates and fewer variable plan choices. Fortunately, there is an alternative plan available to small group employers in Missouri who have two to 50 eligible employees and it's powered by the Missouri Chamber Federation and administered by Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the Chamber Benefit Plan, and it is available to all of our members. The Lake Area Chamber is fortunate to have several insurance agent chamber members who are able to offer this plan to our members. So give us a call at the Lake Area Chamber and we'll gladly refer those respective members your way. With living at the lake, as you know, there's always exciting events going on. The Lake Area Chamber organizes and hosts a variety of those events. For Eagle Days, we take an active role collaborating with many other entities for the uh, Ameren, Missouri Eagle Days, which brings about 3,700 plus spectators out and about the first weekend in January. We love welcoming them at Wilmore Lodge for the live Eagle viewing. Also in January, our Chamber's Legislative Committee takes on the planning of the annual Legislative Reception, which is an event catered to the hosting organization's board members to meet with local and state elected officials and exchange information about our region and to discuss the current legislative issues. 
In effort to better serve and help grow area businesses, we are excited to continue for its third year, the Lake Area Chamber Business Academy. The Business Academy will begin in January of 2021, consisting of four, sorry, consisting of six four-hour sessions over the course of three months. Each of the six sessions will include two intensive workshops on an array of critically important business topics, including financial, legal, risk mitigation, cybersecurity, human resources, employee benefits, and marketing and branding. We were priv privileged to have had the following chamber members complete our second annual business academy this year. Casey Barker, Ashley Baumstark, Danielle Borette, Ronnie Gadbury, Christopher Lacoste, Della Miller, Dorothy Peter, Rebecca Sansom, Lee Schumann, Angie Schuster, and Ethan Shackelford. Shackelford. I'd like to also thank the phenomenal presenters that volunteered their time and expertise to this program. The Academy would not exist if it weren't for their involvement. We continue to receive great feedback from our Academy participants and listed in your event program as some of their testimonials. But I'm sure if you have specific questions, I encourage you to reach out to any of the past 22 participants that have completed the program, <clears throat> and they would be happy to share their firsthand experience with you. The curriculum and speakers lined up for the next Business Academy will be impactful for attending business, business owners, entrepreneurs, and business leaders of all levels. Academy date, dates, sessions, and topics can be found on the LakeAreaChamber.com website. Registration is now open, and I encourage you to get signed up early because the Business Academy will be limited to only 20 seats, and we will not permit competing businesses, so registrations will be honored first come, first serve. This past February was our second year taking the reins and hosting the Lake of the Ozarks Mardi Gras Pub Crawl. Mother Nature was a little more kind the second go around, thank goodness. With 14 participating venues, 23 buses, and many lodging partners, our 4,000 plus participants enjoyed over 10 hours of crawling fun. If you have interest in promoting your business and capturing our pub crawl audience, I encourage you to reach out to the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce as we have a variety of sponsorship opportunities available. Currently, we do not have a date set for the 21 event date due to so many uncertainties. However, we are hopeful to still roll out late winter, early spring of 2021. This next event is one of my personal favorites, the Cocktails and Caddies Golf Tournament. <clears throat> Unfortunately, due to COVID, we had to cancel this year's tournament. It's typically held in April, just a week after the Masters, and we invite teams of three ladies out for a fun round of golf and an opportunity to bid on their fourth player, a popular local male golfer, and his prize package. <laughs> Sorry, I still tickle. Five years and I still laugh at that. All right, with an average of 60 participants, many of them being local business owners, this is a great opportunity to showcase your business by sponsoring a whole or taking part as a whole host. This event is known to bring lots of laughs, great food, and a great time. The local golf pros tell us it's one of their favorite events to play in, and we're hopeful to be hitting the greens in 2021. Usually the first weekend in May is the busiest weekend for the Chamber, as we host and welcome thousands for the annual Magic Dragon Street Meet Nationals. However, this year, we had to make the difficult decision to move our months and months of work and efforts to the fall. We were fortunate, though, we didn't have to cancel. This year, we welcomed 709 show vehicles to the event, and of that total, at least 20% were new participants. And I will share many of them, this was their first visit to Lake of the Ozarks ever. So we're very proud for that. We are very pleased with the participation, the support, safety, and the success of this year's event. This large event offers ample opportunities to showcase your business through a variety of different level sponsorships. So be sure to contact the Chamber team if you'd like to further discuss showcasing your business to that audience. With the help of dedication, help and dedication of our young professionals, the Lake Area Chamber continues to have a presence each year in the Osage Beach Veterans Day Parade, the Lake Ozark Christmas Parade, and on a normal year, the St. Patrick's Day Parade. We plan to participate in the upcoming Veterans Day on November 7th, along with the Lake of the Ozarks Christmas Parade on December 12th. We always enjoy participating in these events. It allows us to have some fun while also connecting with our community. I'd like to extend an invitation to you all to join us with the Lake Area Chamber Float. 
Whether you'd like to get involved with the float design, walk or ride in the parade and hand out the candy, or both, we'd be honored to have you join us. At last year's dinner, we made the announcement of a brand new event, a women's conference, the Women Inspiring Women Central Missouri Conference. We were so ready to roll this event out. We had an amazing lineup from the speakers' topics to the ladies' night out activities to the vendors to the sponsors. It was going to be great. With having to move the car show and then with the commitment required on a first time event, this year just wasn't meant for us. The great news is though, We've done all the work, and we are able to move the entire conference over to next year. This program was established to bring women together to grow in a variety of aspects of their life, all while providing an opportunity for our Lake Area Chamber members to have exposure to a direct market, women, and showcase their products and services. We know this event's potential, and we can't wait to show the Lake community what it's all about. The next item I'd like to highlight has had a few exciting notes to share since our last annual dinner. In November 2019, thelakehomeshow.com received the Award of Excellence from the Chambers of Commerce Executives of Missouri for their Electronic Communications category. We are so proud of the acknowledgement and to, to be recognized for our unique concept. As COVID became reality for our nation, we all began to rely on the internet and online sources for many, many things. Our lakehomeshow.com traffic grew by 30% compared to our 2019 traffic. Each month in our e-newsletter, we share the top categories from the site. This year was home improvement. I'm sure many of you are not surprised with that, being our current real estate boom and the many home renovations that were done during quarantining and stay-at-home orders. 90% of the site traffic to lakehomeshow.com consists of visitors from Missouri, Illinois, and Kansas, ranging from their 30s to 50s, with the majority visiting our businesses' virtual booths from their mobile device. If you haven't taken the opportunity to check this site out, we certainly encourage you to do so. We will be extending our promotional rate into 2021 at a small investment of $125 annually offered to all of our chamber members. Now is the time. Let us provide you with that additional platform to reach your audience. We're proud to be active and work closely with several, several entities for the betterment of our membership in our community. Some of the organizations, projects, and events that we collaborate with or on are LORDEC, also known as Lake of the Ozarks Regional Economic Development Council, the Lake of the Ozarks Council of Local Governments, EDAC, which is the Economic Development Advisory Committee tied to the Council of Local Governments, the Tri-County Certified Ready Work Community, Community Initiative, Lake of the Ozarks SCORE, State Fair Community College Advisory Council, Lake Regional Health Systems Business Gifts Committee, and the School of the Osage Next Generation Mentoring. If you'd like to learn more about our activities or would like to get involved yourself, please let us know. Most of our chamber members don't have the time to invest in participating in these organizations, so we do our best to represent our entire membership at large. Please know I'll always welcome the opportunity to bring a guest to any of our upcoming meetings should you ever have interest in learning more. I mentioned getting involved just now. In order for the chamber to manage so many events, initiatives, and efforts, it takes the support of our board of directors and many chamber committees. As you review the inquiry form at your seat, you'll see at the bottom there is a section that outlines the various committees that you can play an active role in. It takes continuous support to be successful in our efforts, and we can't do it without you. Please review the back side of the inquiry form to see the details and the commitments of each committee and task force, and please select any and all that you would have interest in participating in. This is a great way for you to connect with other businesses and give back to the community, and we would love to have you. Everything we do and why we do it corresponds directly to our mission statement, to improve the economic and community prosperity in Lake of the Ozarks area by providing services to and advocating for service businesses. Now it's the fun part, the awards. Many of you um, have stuck around just for this part, so we appreciate that. And I'd like to ask for Angie Schuster and Sandy Waggett to please join me on the stage. Now it's time to present five prestigious awards. I say prestigious because the recipients were nominated by you, their peers, and their fellow chamber members. 
Before we announce the recipients, let's recognize all the nominees. For Large Business of the Year, the Lodge of Four Seasons, Lake Regional Health Systems, and Oak Star Bank. For Small Business of the Year, Above and Beyond Roofing, Lake TV, MS Propane, Roof Lux, Split Arrow Boutique, Squeeze Juice Plus Health, and Walls HVAC Service. For Nonprofit of the Year, Wonderland Camp, Citizens Against Domestic Violence, and Daybreak Rotary. For Young Professional of the Year, Katie Royal, Ryan Newcomb, and Karen Horseman. For Distinguished Citizen of the Year, Dane Henry, CEO Lake Regional Health Systems, Mary Kay Von Brendel, Ozarks Amphitheater, Mike Clayton, Benny Media and Wonderland Camp, Melissa Hollingsworth, Santa for Seniors, and Mike Page, owner of Leatherman Grandma's Candy Kitchen and Dog Patch. What a phenomenal group of nominees. I wish I could share with you all each and every nomination that was submitted. There is no doubt that each nominee is most certainly worthy of these awards. Would you please join me in a round of applause? We appreciate our membership taking an active role in providing these nominations. And as each winner is announced, we ask that you make your way to the stage to accept your award. First one's up. Yeah. Let's begin with the Nonprofit Organization of the Year. I'm honored to present this year's Nonprofit of the Year to CADV, Citizens Against Domestic Violence. Established, <laughs> <laughs> established in 1984 by a group of concerned local citizens, it's a 501c3 nonprofit grassroots organization providing crisis intervention, shelter, advocacy, and support to victims of domestic and sexual violence. The highly committed board of directors, staff, and volunteers provide the information, tools, resources, and support that empower victims to make and sustain positive choices in their lives. These changes lead to the happiness and security of a life free from violence. This is what makes CADV such an important facet to our community. I'm pleased to recognize our 2020 Small Business of the Year to Lake TV. William's accomplishments on growing Lake TV to what it is today is nothing short of exceptional. He's sacrificed, believed in himself, his people, and his project to the point of almost losing it all, only to rise to the top. His perseverance, his tenacity, and his spirit I mean, who doesn't like Will, right? I'm very proud to call him a personal friend. Uh, and producing quality local programming is to be admired. He televised the Lake Race, and now he's two years into producing the amazing shootout races. Lake TV's objective and mission is to inform, entertain, and educate their viewers by presenting content, detailing local businesses, attractions, and lake area events that showcase the country's number one recreational lake. We should all be so proud of this young man, I know I am for sure, and Lake TV for working so tirelessly on behalf of Lake of the Ozarks. One thing, Benny Media produces the shootout the last two years and it's the best it's ever been. We don't get credit for that, we help with that. But Benny Media, that's the third deal, so congratulations Aww. Benny Media. Now it's time to announce our 2020 Large Business of the Year recipient. This year's Large Business of the Year goes to Lake Regional Health System. <laughs> Clearly in the year of an unprecedented pandemic, our local hospital, its staff, and its leadership should receive accolades for the tireless hours and risks they take on a daily basis. With so many unknowns, so much fear, such information and misinformation, so many political views, so much public pressure, our local hospital did everything right to provide incredible care and education to our community. And they continue to lead the way as we move forward this issue. They couldn't have predicted it, yet they responded quickly, 
thoughtfully, and with ultimate professionalism. Our caregivers at Lake Regional are heroes all. And the culture of care and the professionalism always starts at the top. It's with great pleasure that I present to you our 2020 Large Business of the Year, Lake Regional Health System. The next award is our Young Professional of the Year Award. This year's recipient goes to Katie Royal with Royal Heating and Air. Katie Royal has worked tire tirelessly through the COVID-19 crisis to lead events for our local Kiwanis organization. While group participation all but disappeared through the pandemic, Katie has shown up and taken the lead every single time without hesitation. Without her tireless efforts late at night, after working her own business and putting her kids to bed, the great damn duck drop event would have never happened. It's one of the largest fundraisers of the year for the local Kiwanis group, and it's critical to funding several charities around the Lake of the Ozarks through the grants and funding that Kiwanis provides. I personally, and I did write this, uh, watched her prevail through the exhaustion of working the endless hours and logistics of such a large event. She did it with strength and without complaint. When she was acknowledged for her efforts with a simple thank you, her eyes welled up. This is how I know how tired she was. As a result of her leadership and tireless efforts, the great damn duck drop raised record money in the most difficult year for our community charities in need. All of this was done in a climate lacking volunteers and tightening wallets. She has deserved this award in the past, but this year more than ever. Katie Royal, come on up. The next award is our Distinguished Citizen Award and goes to an individual that is so engaged with our community that most have probably already had the pleasure of meeting. We are pleased to present this year's Distinguished Citizen of the Year to Mike Clayton with Benny Media and Wonderland Camp. Mike has lived and worked at the Lake of the Ozarks for over 25 years. He hosts a morning radio show on Mix 92.7 where he is also the program director. Mike continues to work for Benny Media while also wearing the hat as Director of Fund Development and Communications for Wonderland Camp. Mike is a dedicated advocate to many nonprofit organizations throughout our community. He was recently recognized, recognized as one of LO Profile Magazine's Ambassador of Hope for all of his amazing and notable efforts. It is with great honor that we are able to recognize him with this prestigious award. The last award to be given this evening is the President's Award. And since I'm President, I got to choose, which is not an easy task with as much awesome, which as many awesome people as we have. Joining the Chamber has provided me with the opportunity to get to know some really amazing people. Therefore, it took a lot of thought to narrow down the list to one exceptional person. My selection of this person was based upon several years of observation and interaction although I wish I had met them a long time before I did, because I've learned so much from their example. This person at, person's attributes amaze me. Always one to lift others up, bring hope to a bleak situation, find opportunity in challenges, show graciousness to others, is a terrific listener and genuinely hears what people have to say. A teacher, a mentor, a servant leader. Those are just to name a few. A quote from Ken Blanchard, servant leadership is all about making the goals clear and then rolling up your sleeves and doing whatever it takes to help people win. In that situation, they don't work for you, you work for them. This person is a shining example of what servant leadership looks like. Genuinely caring about people, both clients and team members, as well as animals. This person is committed to learning and growing continually, always working for the benefit of everyone involved. 
and making sure that even those who usually sit quietly in the background are heard and recognized. This person is constantly working to improve themselves and doesn't stop to recognize how much they're improving everyone around them, always inspiring others to be the best version of themselves. This person is rather competitive and displays their dedication for our area nonprofits by playing in many of the area benefit golf tournaments. They also donate countless hours, personally and professionally, to several area nonprofits, helping them grow and prosper and develop new leadership within the organization. Passion, purpose, and perseverance. If you don't already know the person that I'm describing, here are a few more specifics to help you out. Now I can't, now I can't list all the positions that this person has held in the past or currently holds today but I can share some organizations that benefit greatly from their assistance. Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Kiwanis, Duck Drop, and Christmas for Kids, Business Network International, and Lake Area Chamber. The goal of many leaders is to get people to think more highly of the leader. The goal of a great leader is to help people to think more highly of themselves. J. Carla Norcutt. This person is an incredible human being that we're able, that we're all better for knowing, according to one of her team members. And I couldn't agree more. Please help me welcome to the stage my inspirational friend and mentor, Sandy Waggett. All right, I'd like to thank you all for attending our annual celebration, and more importantly, for supporting your community and your Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Please be sure to complete the inquiry form and leave it at your table, or as I'd mentioned before, you could re if you'd rather take it and complete later, please go ahead. We ask that you do return it completed to our chamber as soon as possible. Our chamber team and committee chairs will be in touch with you regarding your specified interest. I'd like to close by sharing one last video. Hi, I'm Angie Schuster, president of the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Here at the chamber, we know your business is presented with lots of choices. Who to connect with, engage with, and grow your business with. How to adapt to the ever-changing business environment. How to best promote your business or your organization. And we are glad that you chose us this year. Choosing to be a member of the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. It's choosing to have a voice for your business at the city, county, state, and federal level. It's choosing to be engaged with our community. It's choosing to support our initiative to shape tomorrow's workforce. It's choosing to help the next generation find their passions. It's choosing to support your business community. It's choosing to create connections and impactful relationships. Most importantly, Choosing to be a member of the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce is choosing to strive for a better business and better community. Thank you for choosing us. Thank, Thank you. you. So just as the video said, we greatly appreciate your continued support. Thank you everybody for joining us this evening and for your support of the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Good night.